For this project, I chose to examine Dark Souls 3 as it has numerous structures and locations that feature Gothic architecture. As a quick background, Gothic architecture was featured predominantly in the late Middle Ages, having evolved from Roman architecture, and was very popular in the construction of cathedrals and churches. The most notable features of Gothic architecture were flying buttresses coupled with the use of the rib vault inside of the structures. Other features include the use of many stained glass windows, as well as the large rose window. In Dark Souls, many of the game's prolific buildings feature Gothic architecture, most notably Lothric Castle and An Orlando. In each building, you can see the tells of Gothic architecture. For example, here in Lothric Castle, you can see the rib vaults on the ceiling, as well as, as, well as Gothic designs such as the quatrefoil engraved in the walls. In this screenshot, you can clearly see the stained glass windows rib bolts, as well as the breathtakingly high ceilings. And here, the comparison between a part of Lothra Castle and the Gothic Auxerre Cathedral in Burgundy. Gothic architecture was primarily seen in the construction of churches and cathedrals such as the famous Westminster Abbey, which you can see compared to the outside of Anne Orlando, an uncanny resemblance. These buildings of God were made to leave visitors with a sense of awe, and the same can be said of Dark Souls 3. Hidetaka Miyazaki, the director of Dark Souls, clearly wants to impress players when they arrive at these locations, which house the Lords of Cinder, this game's gods, and to set the tone of the epic battles to come in these majestic in-game testaments to the Gothic architecture movement.